Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today for Honey Bee Stamps and today I'm going to share a card created with dies, stamps, and some of the awesome Honey Bee Stamps pattern papers. Specifically using pattern papers to die cut images for a scene card that really reinforce the scene card and are such quick and easy ways to create backgrounds and elements. We are going to be using some pattern paper from Over the Rainbow for the background with that beautiful cloud background. No stenciling or stamping required. We'll also be using a green pattern paper from Over the Rainbow to die cut the grass border for along the bottom edge of the card design. Then for the dog house, that beautiful wood grain paper is from the Bees Knees stamp set. I've trimmed down the Over the Rainbow Cloud pattern paper to four by five and a quarter inches, and we are gonna go ahead and map that on our card, leaving a beautiful white border all the way around. Next, we're going to go ahead and trim down our grass borders. I went ahead and die cut those from the six inch pieces of pattern paper, and I wanna trim that to five and a quarter. And we're going to put the background pattern paper down along the bottom edge of the cloud paper. And then we're going to take our doghouse die cuts. And I actually die cut the doghouse twice more from some dark gray cardstock. And we're simply going to stack these one on top of another. This is going to give our doghouse a little bit more of a substantial feeling, especially with the pattern paper on top, plus give some depth and dimension. I've kept one of the inside of the doghouse die cuts that I will place directly on the card itself to give the look of staring into the doghouse. We will then finish with the wood grain doghouse on top. And it has a great texture to it, not only the die, but the actual doghouse. Now this little piece down along the bottom edge it was just not lying really flat. I didn't glue them one to an, another for that little piece. And because it's going to be tucked between two layers of grass, I decided to take my scissors and snip that away. I just felt like it was going to probably cause my doghouse not to lie very nicely. And so I went ahead and got rid of that. And then we're going to put the doghouse in place on our card. So it's already looking super cute. And this is so fast. No inking, no coloring. I love when pattern papers will work together like this to create beautiful scenes. We're going to put the inside of our doghouse piece in there, and then we are going to take the separate roof die for the doghouse, die cut that from red cardstock, put some double-sided tape on the back, and pop this in place right on our um, doghouse. So that gives us some nice contrast as well. We've got the beautiful blue, cloudy sky, the green grass along the bottom edge, our white wood grain doghouse, and then this red roof, which red's going to be kind of our constant pop of color throughout the card design. Before we place our second grass border along the front of the card, I want to go ahead and take a sentiment from the Friends Forever stamp set and stamp that along the bottom edge with a clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. I've also taken this little paw print from the Puppy Love stamp set and stamped that along the top of the doghouse with a black ink. The white of the white embossed sentiment is really going to pop. And this grass border is just the perfect little place to add a stamped sentiment. This sentiment is especially awesome. You could use any combination of sentiments from the Friends Forever stamp set. They all work really great with the Puppy Love images. What's so awesome about this is you can kind of have part of your sentiment on the front of the card, and then when you open up your card, you can have the rest of your sentiment, which you're going to see here in a little bit. So no bones about it, and you could use anything. No bones about it. Sorry, life has been rough. No bones about it. You are possum. No bones about it. I woof you. Uh, no bones about it. You make my tail wag. I love you forever. Um, can I lend a paw? So glad you're part of my pack. Congratulations on your new fur baby. Um, anything is possible. 
I'm actually going to be using your So Doggone Kind to make this more of a thank you style card. But you could really use any combination of those fantastic sentiments. Then I'm going to place some foam adhesive along the bottom edge below the doghouse so it's going to be hidden. We're we'll place that along the bottom edge and pop our border in place. This is just going to make everything lie really nicely, plus provide a great place to tuck the rest of our elements for our card in here. Um, one of my favorite things is tucking elements between two borders like this. It gives just a little bit more of a natural look. So see how nice that lays? The foam adhesive really is the trick here, especially with the dimensional doghouse that we have. I'm going to do a little no-line coloring with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Stamped by images with the ink on three, fade out no line coloring ink. Using those puppy or a puppy love image, we're gonna have a puppy, a dog dish, and a bone to start with. I'm going to come back. Um, often I will gauge that you know these are the images I need with the dyes I'm using. I'm just guessing. Well, as I guessed and I stamped and colored and die cut all of these, and I got to the end of the card design. I realized I needed some more stuff, um, especially I think with the no bones about it sentiment. I wanted to reinforce the dog bone feeling of this card. I had originally only stamped the one, so I'm going to stamp a little partial bone and another one, so there's three total on my card design, plus that little tennis ball, super cute, it's going to be really fun tucked on our card. I am using these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers for coloring. I love these. I love how smooth they blend on the Bristol Smooth cardstock. Really, really fun. Um, I think it's really cool. You can't really see that ink on three ink for the eyes, the facial detailing, but as I'm adding color over the top, you can see them kind of pop out, which gives you a good base and guideline for going back in with your detailing pins and markers later on. Now I thought some of my puppy was a little bit lighter than I wanted. Just going to go and add a little bit more of that deep brown color and blend out with brick beige. We're going to add some pink haze to the insides of those ears, pulling a little bit of the brown out into the ear so it's not quite so pink. And then we're going to trace our heart with the geranium red and blend out with our blender marker. So no actual extra red marker needed for this today. Looks so cute. He has that cute little heart sticking out of his mouth. You could pick any of the adorable dogs from this set. There are a bunch of cuties here. So whatever dog specifically speaks to you, you could definitely uh, switch that up or maybe even add multiples if you wanted to. The dog dish I'm coloring with geranium red and the blender again. We'll do a little bit of the gray for the very inside bottom part of the dog dish. I kept my marker color choices pretty simplistic today. Um, just a few here and there. Um, didn't use the whole rainbow spectrum. For the bone, I was going to go with gray, and then I really don't like gray as much as I like the beige color. So we are going, or oatmeal, I guess is what I used. So we're going to trace it with oatmeal and kind of blend it out with the blender, and it just gives it a really nice light brown color. Then I die cut my images, and I'm going to take a black gel pen and add detail to the nose and the eyes. And then I'm going to let that completely dry before I go back in with my white pen and add the highlights back into the eyes and to the tip of the nose. I'm going to take my white pen and add a little highlight to that heart out of, hanging out of the dog's mouth as well. So let's grab our doghouse and we want to tuck the dog next to our doghouse here. And part of the dog will be overlapping the doghouse and part is going to be over there, you know, against the sky. Well, since the doghouse is dimensional, we're going to only want to put foam adhesive on part of that. So I'll come back to that in just a minute. I did decide to stamp the inside sentiment before I finished the front of the card, which we're using your so doggone kind, and I stamped that with black ink inside. And now let's go ahead and get the rest of our stuff adhered. So I've got my dog dish, my bone, the dog, which has adhesive only on one half of it, 
These little teeny tiny hearts are my absolute favorite. These are from the Rainbow Wishes Die collection. There's a stamp set that coordinates. But if you're looking for teeny tiny heart accents, and I am always on the lookout for teeny tiny heart accents, these are awesome. I die cut these from the same red as the roof on the doghouse, adhered those to my card, and finished with glossy accents, not only on the hearts, but on the paw print on the doghouse as well, so it's a little bit shiny and raised. I've also stamped my dog bones and tennis ball with the fade out no line coloring ink, colored all of those in, and now we are adding those additional images to the border of our card. This is a super fast and easy card design. Really love it, but it works so well. I love when you can take pattern paper and create that scene that you want to create. So this whole project today is just really to kind of reinforce using pattern paper in our cards and finding ways to implement it and use it for all those different elements. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this super fun dog scene card featuring honeybee stamps, pattern paper, dies, and stamps. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please be sure to visit the Honeybee blog for more information on this project. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time here on the Honeybee Stamps YouTube channel.